I will uh, send out the links for registration if you have, don't have that already. And now coming to the awards in specific, um, every year we have a lot of categories against which partners can nominate themselves for winning awards. And these categories vary across all the competencies of Microsoft and then there are a couple of other categories too. So before I start explaining what the award categories are and what are the assets that are available to you and hand over the stage to Prashant who is like a you know, epic in winning, uh, making India proud. So he will talk about the best practices uh, to share so that all of you can also start now getting awards uh, across categories. So um, I just thought I'm going to be sharing this um, URL for your reference. Please save this and bookmark it. Right. So um, let's now look at the award category. So this year, in the award category, we have around 33 categories, and there is a document which is called the Partner Award uh, Guidelines. It is available in that same link that I had forwarded. Now, if you look at all these categories, these are, I mean, from application development to Windows and device deployment are all competencies of Microsoft. So if you have a silver or a gold competency, you should feel free to, uh, you know, nominate yourself for any of the categories. Over and above that, we have a couple of other categories, like if you have uh, some success stories in public sector education or health, or you're contributing in City Next project, you're looking at customer experience, you have really good case studies to showcase uh, how you helped solve a business problem, then these are the other award categories that you could qualify. Now, each of these, and just to give you a couple of examples, let's say you are in the Office 365 space or you are looking at the small and mid-market cloud solutions, you could just go to that category itself. And in each of the categories, it would give you step-by-step -step guidelines and the eligibility criteria for you to submit your um, nominations. So there is a tool through which you do submit your nominations. There are prerequisites, and then there are best practices um, to help you win the award and showcase your success stories in a way which will attract attention of the jury and uh, give you more chances of winning in this global forum. So each and every uh, award category has, let's say this is globe for Cloud Global, there is an eligibility criteria, there is an executive summary which you will have to provide, and towards that executive summary, you will have to provide documentation to prove, let's say, um, is there a customer testimonial, is there a returns on investment, um, is there something which was released in the press, whatever good work you are doing have to be heard, and what better than the you know, clippets of maybe a customer testimonial, maybe in the newspaper, any press release that you have, if you can show, redirect them to that website, any blogs, enrich your submissions with lots and lots of supporting documentation. So that's the first part of uh, the award, so 33 categories in all. And from Microsoft, uh, in this call is also our copywriting agency. Uh, Nikhila is the lead, uh, along with Raina. They, if you are interested, if you can look at all these prerequisites, and you, if you think you really can, you know, you're doing this and you can really showcase your work, great work done, to win an award, we have copywriters to help you wordsmith the submissions such that it's, it just becomes much more uh, acceptable as well as it's like created using all the best practices with a lot of, uh, you know, story writing in it in itself. So they will help you out and they, you just have to write to uh, a common alias, which is inspired. Ready, so I'll just docu um, mail across the alias. You just write to them and they will help you in wordsmithing your submissions. Of course, we will need some inputs from you because we don't know what, what good work you have done. So we have a template. We will ask you for inputs. And after that, it's up to um, the agency to help you uh, come up with a good deliverable. Um, so that was more about it. And if you are interested in you know, really 
um, wanting to write it yourself, there are lots and lots of resources and assets available in this website itself, which includes, you know, advice from the judges, how to create a great entry. There are uh, rules and regulations because it shouldn't be so that you've created all uh, good stories, but you have forgotten, let's say, you know, there is a cap on the video size that you can upload. So just check on the rules and regulations and the guidelines before you submit at the end. There is an FAQ too. You could read that. And then there are videos if you can just look at. This is about how a partner won, and it has an example of what was the pre-winning uh, story and what was the after they won, what was the story. So would want you to go through all the assets that are already available. Go and uh, avail our um, agency services to copyright. And it's totally complimentary. You don't have to pay for um, the uh, copywriting services. That's something which is sponsored by Microsoft. Right, so any questions till now? We also have a Q&A at the end, so even if there are no questions now, we could also take it up. Yeah, so with that, I don't think I took much time. You had budgeted 20 minutes. This is more of self-reading because I can go on and on, but if all the assets are there. It's all in that URL that I just pasted. Um, and I wanted to invite Prashant um, to take on because he is the person who has been winning uh, awards year after year consistently. So obviously, he has the secret sauce. Um, and he knows what what the uh, judges are looking for, what are the keywords, what is the mantra that he, and we would like him to share, and he's been kind enough to accept that offer. So over to you, Prashant. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Nuraini, and uh, thanks, Suresh, for uh, organizing this. Uh, am I uh, audible, everyone? Yeah, Prashant. Great. Okay. Yes. So, good afternoon and uh, uh, hello to all my uh, friends here in the uh, partner community. So, um, I just wanted to give you um, uh, some perspective of uh, what I have learned uh, over the years in um, as part of the WPC uh, submission process um, and as part of my um, uh, experience at WPC itself. So um, this is uh, not like a prescriptive guidance, more like insights and thoughts that I have to share. Um, and as you're well aware, uh, the awards that we're submitting for are for technology and innovation. And that is something that keeps changing dynamically from year to year. So uh, as much as I would like to have a fixed formula, unfortunately, there is no formula. And if I go back and think about how we have evolved in terms of what we are doing and how we are Presenting, it has changed drastically. I can't recognize some of what I did a few years back from what we are trying to do today. So the field is constantly evolving, um, which all of you know. But at the same time, there are also a few, uh, uh, let me call it rules of thumb or uh, some uh, clear uh, uh, directions that if we can adhere to, it would uh, vastly increase, increase the chances of us uh, uh, eking out a successful uh, entry. So uh, let me uh, 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 give you some insights on them. So the first uh, uh, thing you need to remember is that um, it's just not about technology. Technology obviously is important, but uh, it's not pure technology. So do not get too technical uh, writing about the uh, solution uh, or uh, architecture but also remember to focus on equal measures around the business value and the human interest aspect. That is very, very uh, critical. Because if you don't have uh, that outline, then there is very little that you have to show in terms of impact. The uh, next uh, thing you would probably want, and I'm, I'm actually going to send out a, a brief document. I've prepared a brief document, so whatever I've discussed, I'm going to summarize and send this across to you. I will send it to Indrani, uh, Indrani and she will share it with you uh, over email. So uh, uh, that you do have some sort of uh, structured uh, uh, inputs as well there. Uh, and make sure you also talk to customers. Number two is you need to talk to customers. You need to talk to customers and uh, understand what does the solution actually mean uh, for them. Hear it uh, from your customers uh, in their own words. 
uh, what uh, what was it before the solution? What was it after the solution? Where can the solution go from here? Uh, and uh, what uh, could be the uh, uh, what was the business impact and what could be the business impact in future? The third point is about repl replicability. So how uh, well would you be able to replicate the solution across multiple customers? So if you have uh, uh, that, that tells Microsoft that your solution is scalable and this is just not uh, a one-off uh, victory. If you are able to replicate this and talk about how the solution could possibly scale across to multiple customers in the same vertical or uh, customers across different verticals depending on what the nature of your solution was, then that uh, aspect is important. The fourth aspect is that you need to be aligned with Microsoft. And when I say aligned, the you know what's the right time to start preparing for uh, a WPC award? Right after the previous WPC. Because every year a WPC is when you learn what are Microsoft's priorities for the year, what are the big investments that Microsoft is making for the year, and what is uh, Microsoft's go-to-market strategy for the year. So that is your biggest insight in terms of what you should be focusing on as a Microsoft partner so that together we are able to drive home that message of success. We are able to drive home that message of partnership. So most important is understanding what Microsoft's uh, strategies are, what Microsoft's investments are. And the last uh, point, and this is something that uh, Indrani uh, already uh, talked about, is about how much of supporting information that you can uh, provide. Now, I want to give you some uh, uh, insights into this. Do not support, do not provide too much of supporting information uh, because then that's going to be a clutter in itself. You might run the risk of not having the judges uh, go through the material that you submitted in, in uh, well enough. So strike a fine balance between uh, the quantity of information, the volume of documents and information that you're submitting and balance it with the, uh, uh, with, uh, and prioritize it with what you need uh, to highlight. So the more and more uh, information you submit, then the chances are also there that you might actually get missed out in terms of the core message that you want to convey. So uh, it's there is no right or wrong answer here. Like I said, it's a, it's a fine balance, and uh, this is something that you will have to take basis the nature of the solution, basis uh, the kind of uh, documentary evidence and the proof that you have at hand, and the basis inputs like uh, the replicability or the other aspects of the uh, solution. So if I were to uh, kind of uh, help summarize um, uh, what I just uh, said along um, maybe five uh, action points, once again, it would be alignment, Make sure that you align with what Microsoft is doing, where Microsoft's priorities and investments are. Second part is be focused on what you want to do. Be focused on what you helped your customer to do, what you helped uh, your the, the human element, what you helped, how you help people to succeed, how you helped make people heroes. Make sure you focus on, on that. Thinking ahead which means you need to uh, start uh, preparation for WPC well in advance. It, it's not something that you can do when the awards tools are uh, opened. It, that there's hardly a month uh, window, and that month is just sufficient for you to just go ahead and do the documentation part of it, but not the uh, winning part of it. The winning part of it happens in the 12 months post the previous uh, WPC, not even 12 months. In fact, we have less than that. Uh, the uh, 10 or so months that you have post uh, WPC. So you need to start thinking early if you really want to uh, have a good chance at, uh, at uh, winning an award. And leverage. If I uh, know this is something that Indrani can, Indrani can add a lot of uh, points on. There are tons of assets and resources that uh, Microsoft has uh, for partners in uh, the uh, uh, MPN. MPN is literally uh, Wikipedia uh, for, for partners. You, whatever you need to do uh, business for Microsoft with is there in MPN. If it is, um, and there are very, very, very uh, few instances where uh, over so many years where I have tried to look for something in MPN and when, when I want to create a campaign, when I want to go ahead and uh, create some collateral, when I want to go ahead and um, use an inside sales script, 
I have always been able to locate it in MPN. So if you are utilizing these resources well over the past several months, then automatically that would have helped you also to create a very, very powerful entry. The last uh, uh, message I want to leave you with is, uh, is about evangelization. So if you are not using bits and pieces of the technologies that you have, for instance, if you're writing about uh, an Office 365 or an Azure based solution, but if you do not have a powerful enough use case internally, if you are demonstrating that this is the way we are using, uh, say, for instance, Office 365 to succeed, this is the way Azure is helping us transform our business, this is the way we uh, uh, save costs. These are all vital uh, elements that you can include in your uh, submission that will help you to uh, ensure that you create a real, really world uh, class uh, entry. So it's about alignment. It's about focus. It's about thinking ahead. It's about leveraging resources that you have at your disposal. disposal. And lastly, it's about evangelizing whatever technologies that you are using within your own organization first, so that you are in a position to take it across to customers as well. So that's it uh, as far as the monologue from my side is concerned. What I really want to do right now is to uh, maybe uh, throw the floor open for questions and uh, make this a little more interactive rather than me uh, just uh, 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 talking uh, as a monologue. So if there are questions, there are uh, concerns, uh, queries that you have, I will try to uh, address along with Indrani and uh, Suresh to the best of our uh, abilities. So Suresh, if you could just uh, help open up the uh, flow for questions, let's uh, go ahead and uh, hear from our audience. Prashant, if you could just in the, as a bullet point, mention some of those steps, you know, like, okay, uh, some of the steps which are involved, four, five steps on how, you know, <laughs> That will be great because there are some of the. I am sending it. So I am. I have created the uh, the document and I am going to send it to Indrani and she will uh, forward it. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Okay, and I also thought I will uh, walk you through this. There is a tutorial here because the entire submission happens on the tool. You can work on an offline document, but at the end it is a tool where which you have to you know go and submit. So there is a tutorial which you can find and download from here. While I will circulate whatever uh, Prashant has written because that would be much more richer perhaps, but as a starting point, you can always look at the tutorial um, to begin your work. I also wanted, before we open the floor for discussion, I just thought I would add to whatever Prashant mentioned about alignment. This year, most of you are already aware that the key theme or uh, the focus for us was uh, digital transformation and it is continuing it will be uh, digital transformation for at least even the next year and i'm not sure if you looked at this portal which is on the digital transformation um, an mpn website as um, prashant just said said that we do have rich assets so what I would like all of you to see, um, you know, all the digital transformation story or the pitch is a pivoted around these four pillars. So when you are looking at your case studies or customer stories, see whether you did, can you hinge your story across these four pivots of digital transformation? And did your uh, customer pain point, let's say uh, you're in the health industry, and uh, did your solution help them to engage better with their customers. So in the health industry, the end customers would be, um, you know, patients. So did your solution help you for a better patient management? Uh, likewise, if uh, for doctors, etc., is there a streamlined solution that you could provide to in the healthcare industry, which could empower their employees, have the information together? Um, so, so I would strongly urge you to go through this uh, website, which I'm again going to copy paste and send it across. But the good part about this is there is a one-page primer for each of these here. It looks like this, which has what is the customer benefit uh, across this value proposition that you could provide, what is the you know, value proposition, uh, customer benefit or the challenges that you typically uh, customer faces in this uh, digital transformation pillar. So you may have done great job. If you want to align, use the resources which are already available so that the story is aligned to whatever Microsoft is trying to do. So with that, I will stop my monologue too and open the floor for questions and answers.
Uh, Rahul, uh, for the previous submissions, we are not allowed to share, uh, but the winning case study would be on the portal itself. But I wouldn't be able to share last year's story uh, to everybody. So that's something which is not allowed by us. Okay, I just realized I was on mute. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, uh, just like Indrani said, uh, I don't think that's possible to age. And Rahul, yes, uh, there is absolutely no fee. You can go ahead and um, uh, submit as many as you want. Okay, thank you. Prashant, Devesh. Devesh, yes, Devesh. Uh, one quick question. Uh, when you said uh, you, uh, you should get the customers talk about uh, what they expected from the solution and what they are getting from the solution, whether it's matching there, do you think we should also publish these case studies on our website, uh, the same customers, so that that can uh, hold more weightage? Or do you think the people, uh, the people who are evaluating actually go to our website? They do. They will definitely look at m multiple uh, multiple things, and it, it all end of day it's 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 evaluated by multiple people, right? So each individual has his or her own way of uh, going about the process. But uh, it is definitely a good idea to uh, make the solution as visible um, as possible. So that uh, that will definitely help. So if you want to put it on your website, um, if there is additional information that you want to put on your website which you can't include. In as part of the submission, then it's, step, uh, it's something you can surely look at. Okay, so Devish, I wanted to add to this uh, because I was in the judging panel uh, two years prior to I taking up this role. Now it's a conflict of interest and hence I can't be. But um, as Prashant rightly mentioned, there are approximately some 20 judges in each of the categories, right? So it's not the whims and fancies of one judge. So we ha we are actually coached on how to judge, what are the things that you need to look for. Is there, and I'm, I'm trying to be very transparent, we also look for as a judge, what we look for is how much are you totally aligned, A, aligned with Microsoft, B, are you able to navigate through the um, Microsoft ecosystem yourself to figure out a solution for yourself? Because we totally give credits to partners who have learned the trick of, you know, figuring out how to work with, let's say, EPG, with this, with this segment, with this BG. If you could really do that, that's an added advantage. But yes, um, anything and everything that you do, 80% of the judges do read uh, all the documents that you submit. If it is on a valid website rather than you creating one, you know, video and uploading for this uh, awards, I think I as a judge would have uh, valued something which is on your website because that will be the source of truth. You are publicizing it. Better still, if a, a customer has endorsed you over a video, that is uh, something which cannot be taken away. If you're referring to that customer and the customer is speaking really good about you, that is something which you should be showcasing. With this, I also wanted you to just look, all of you to look at one special category, which is called the customer experience. You may want to apply for that if you really have good customer stories, which you can bring about and how you um, uh, enable transformation for them. So read out the guidelines document, see the eligibility criteria, and see what are the questions that they are asking and try to see if you will fit, uh, if your story will fit for that category. And how important are revenue? Can I ask one question? Such? Yeah, please. Sorry. Yeah, you just told, uh, you know, uh, uh, like the uh, the partner should be very well concerned with the Microsoft and other things. So we were a Microsoft partner, but last three, four years, we have pushed ourselves into only the services. and. Uh, in just, uh, uh, I think, September, October, we are on board on Microsoft again as a PDU. So, do you think uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, completing all the criteria of, of being submitted uh, or to submit this nomination? Okay, so if there are few uh, categories which only a partner with competency can apply. So, if I had uh, shown you this Word document, is my screen on share yet? I mean, I no, hope no. so. Okay, I'll Not just... Sorry, I had to remove the share. So um, going back to the guidelines document and the category, there are few categories which are only if you are a silver or a gold part competency member, can you apply. So let's go to the index document here. So from page 9 to page 34 of this document, these are the ones which are 
tagged to a competency. I can see Rest the of email. The uh, sorry, can't you see my, what did I? No, I, I can see an email. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think I, I shared the wrong desktop. I'm so sorry. One sec. I had to share my monitor and I shared my desktop. Sorry. Can you see now? Yeah. Okay. So if you look at the categories here, competency-based awards from 9 to 34 are only if you have a silver or a gold competency. Rest of them do not ask for a competency, but it has other eligibility criteria. So you may want to check out on the eligibility criteria and see if you qualify. For example, if you just look at the customer experience one, page 49, let me go, go to page 49, and why didn't I? You can just control click on that. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I just, it's my bad. <laughs> Oh, that's going to throw up a lot. Um, yep, I'm sorry no, for doing this. Now if I go up again, I'll waste that much amount of time. So click me. Yeah. There you go. So if you look at this, there is no eligibility from a customer competency standpoint. But most of you will have stories that you will have to show how you helped a customer transform digitally. So there are questions and answers that you can apply. And to your point, you may want to look at this uh, category and submit your answer. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah fine. No, we are Silver Partner. Uh, oh, if you are Silver Partner, you can go and yeah. check out even Cloud Platform for that matter. There is a Cloud Platform for Azure because you're a PDU member. So uh, you could go to yeah. Cloud Platform and check out uh, check out what is needed there and talk about the Azure story. Okay, okay. that's fine. We'll, uh, okay. Where, where will I get this uh, document? This document is there on the website that I showed. If you, uh, one sec, if you go to awards. Okay, so you have shared a link to, in that I'll get this. Yeah, you'll see the award categories and guidelines. Raul, we can share okay. these links in our uh, group. No issue, don't worry about okay. it. Okay, yeah? that's fine, that's fine. Thanks, Rishi. I think Devesh had a question. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, Prashant, I was asking about how how much is the revenue to MS linked to awards? Is it like the partners who give you more revenue is also one of the criteria? It depends on certain competencies. Uh, I think revenue does count. Uh, revenue will make a difference. In certain competencies, it doesn't. So it's purely based on uh, the category. Yeah, because frankly, I like we are uh, you like you know we are specialized in dynamics. Right. So unfortunately, for dynamics, there are only one or two category of awards. Hmm. So oh, for dynamics, uh, I have over the, like I have been submitting uh, uh, these awards for almost like five, five, six years. I have every time I've seen the partner worldwide, whoever is giving more revenues are considered more than the solution. That's my understanding as what I feel, at least from a dynamic standpoint. Okay, in, uh, Indrani can uh, comment a little more on that, but let me just share from my personal experience. Uh, I, I don't think that's the case. It's definitely not the case. Uh, where uh, revenue is the only consideration. There are certain uh, award categories where revenue is considered, but it definitely isn't the only consideration uh, for uh, awards. So, Indrani, maybe you want to add yeah. a couple of points. So, unless it is clearly mentioned in the eligibility criteria or the guidelines that that will be a waiting, a waited, a, you know, only criteria, it, it is not true that we you know, rest our case only on the revenue part. It is overall on the impact, the replicability of the solution, um, the ROI which the customer has justified. So there are approximately, uh, if I recall from, I used to be the judge for the learning category, there were approximately around eight parameters on which we had to score. Yes, revenue was one of the parameter, but that was equally weighted. Uh, it wasn't that it was 90% on revenue and the remaining 10% was split across the other seven categories. No. So revenue is considered, but it's given equal weightage with the other seven or eight categories that we have. Okay. So, uh, Devish, I'll also just so you really, you really have to, you really have to 
you know show the other parts of the solution so beautifully which is what's the impact you know what how has the customer benefited those things certainly will take much uh, much higher priority if you can really showcase and bring that out and also do you think customer quotes in our uh, submission should be part uh, part of it yeah so in the video that i showed um, i mean there is a link in this assets and i'll just go back you should see a sample uh, from the video that is there on the youtube um, you can click on one of the documents one sec <coughs> I think I have deleted that, but in that entire uh, workshop, you can just search for Gail in YouTube, uh, Rani. Gail is actually, a, a, I mean, she's like a consultant to partners, and she helps. Uh, she does this just like uh, very much like what uh, Timus is doing here. She does it as a service for partners. She helps partners to actually go ahead and uh, win. Oh, what yeah. what what name did you say, Prashant? Gail. G A Gail Gail Mercer. Her name is Gail. um let me try to see if i can look at the video and send you the link right away yeah so it really clearly calls out if you can give that customer testimonial along with the name the credibility of your quotes etc goes up okay okay what i also wanted to share i don't know whether it is open with me or not but uh, just give me a second till then you can bring uh, more questions to the table okay so here's uh, the youtube uh, link I just shared it on the chat window. You can. So I. I got that Gail Moso. Yeah, you got that, David. Yeah. So I just uh, in one even we are submitting the entry. Uh, it can uh, it necessarily would not be only specific to one customer, right? It can be combining multiple. Say, say for instance, you have we have some industry solution which is built on top of uh, Dynamics, and that is what we have implemented across say, two three customers. So that all put together can go in as one entry. Say for instance. Um, dynamic industry uh, is one of the categories so if you want to go for that Absolutely. it is mainly what our solution is and then there are multiple customers where we have implemented and some uh, snap or some things you can pull out from the individual customer uh, implementations that's Absolutely. that should be Because okay right it shows the replicability um, um, i hope i'm on, not uh, yeah it shows the replicability right. of the solution so yes certainly and what you see on this screen is something which corp uses and i'm being very transparent this is not for the award but this is how we consolidate the stories to create an end customer you know success stories so if you look at it you, you know the way it is segmented um, is there is a customer type that is you know these are the three bold ambition which is reinventing productivity business processes and uh, intelligent cloud the um, what are the big bets so this is alignment to the microsoft and then therefore what we what is the impact or the story overview that we are getting this is a feeder for us to collect the inputs and after which we create um video based stories on success customer success so maybe this is something which you need to keep in mind while you are uh, crafting your own stories of what is the industry what is the uh, three pillars of the ambitions that you are catering to what is the digital uh, transformation pivot that you are catering to and then bring out this bring out the story and see if there is the clear uh, customer testimonial right so just thought i'll share this with you so that you can keep thinking creatively on how to present the story in a more innovative way sure and also i would like to uh, maybe sorry someone had a question hey go go and present i had a question i'll ask you uh, complete your well, i was also saying uh, also try to be as uh, original and as uh, different as possible that also helps uh, it also helps not to stick to a specific template uh because then everything will look similar so it also helps if you can uh, if you are original and uh, different uh, i mean you need to cover the key aspects but if you are 
or drill then that itself will help your uh, entry to stand out and get noticed okay and uh, one more thing assuming uh, we spoke about re repeatability of the solution so if uh, in the page or in the video can, is it okay if we have uh, uh, videos of multiple customers from the same vertical with the same solution so or should we focus on only one customer no if you're talking about repeat repeatability i think you should talk about uh, you, you should uh, talk about multiple customers right if you yeah, saying I would, mother, should, mother. i would agree they yeah, yeah, have good. as many have as many customers endorse your product right that just shows uh, it's consistent across customers but yes you have a size limitation so um, it can't be more than a 10 mb file okay um prashant i need your help in this one rahul mehar's question which is saying that if they don't allow us to share the information how can we handle this no you can uh, mention uh, that this is uh, not public and uh, 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 they will uh, treat it accordingly so unless if see uh, if, if 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 the customer is fundamentally not willing to share then you have a challenge there for sure but if you don't want to make this a public case study then you can always mention that you don't want to be a public case study but it is always better if you choose a solution which can be a public testimonial because that is what mike sort of look for it's not a limitation but it will always help if the customer is ready to share and talk does it answer your question raul uh i would also ask nikhila uh you've had you've been receiving requests and i know we have more than 70 entries right now which is already uh, with nikhila so um do you want to share any guidance and best practices spaces whatever you've noticed from the past submissions Mm, yeah so there was one thing which i wanted to share in fact we have been you know uh, talking to partners also on that line uh, so there are a lot of uh, solutions which would have you know because we want to bring out the repeatability story so this query comes up a lot of times where partners come out to us say that what if we you know give more than one testimonial or can we feature more than one case study over here so definitely it is possible what we recommend is we can stitch together an entire story with one leading story and towards the concluding part of it is where we bring in the repeatability part of the story and there is where we you know uh, like have the other testimonials featuring in or other client successes coming in data from the, those successes coming in so that's how we can treat this part also uh, one very critical thing which i uh, like we, which we definitely look forward to is from the partners as part of information is uh, the impact story so a lot of times we do get the uh, information in terms of the solution implementation but the post deployment story is not readily there with us so that is one thing when you are reaching out to your customers uh, you know as a reference case we would really appreciate if you could also get a post deployment story from them what has been the real impact after say one month two months or 6 months of the uh, solution uh, how has it impacted in their uh, on their business so that builds a stitches together a very good story that ways you know <clears throat> thought i may, anyway my screen is shared so what am i typing So Rahul, this um, this question was answered by Prashant. Whatever question you had, in case you missed it, the rec the session is being recorded by uh, Suresh, and I think he can send across the link. Yeah. So the answer is A. You need to kind of uh, please convince your customer to be um, you know be kind enough to be in the. to allow you to share the case study make it public otherwise you can uh, but you know you can still submit and say that the customer does not want to go public um, with it so that's that's the right that is, but the the project which we have done it's for the shop floor you know it's a very integral part of the autocorm uh, autocorms 
so you know taking pictures or videos or talking about the problem and the solution would be very difficult but it's a it's a case study which we can take uh, even the client uh, will take us to their global plants that's another story for us but mm. you know if we can submit this it it would be a great uh, project to showcase to submit without any for pictures etc just a testimonial by the customer uh, wouldn't be okay uh, quote by the customer saying I that no i don't know i don't know check that, that out because without that it is yeah so the chances of it because we uh, at the end of the day the jury needs to say you know uh, to see and believe and if you the more you can be a little bit transparent without being you know show, giving them all confidential information but mm-hmm. just to add more weightage that that should help without that i don't think it would really uh, go along my we will try again thank you rahul uh, what i would suggest is that yeah. give the put in this uh, solution mention that the customer is a con- you know confidential he can't share it because it's this way if you submit there is a chance that uh, it can be featured or it may not be featured but if you don't submit definitely it not be featured So, I know, I know, I know. So you know, try to do it. Try to do it, man. Try to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will try definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So in part of this, I've also marked the alias for Timus. Uh, if you need copywriting services, you could just write, drop in an email to them. Um, and just just to let you know on the timeline 6 april the tool closes there is no exception at all um, i've been into mp uh, wpc for the last 4 years managing it um, i do know that there is no exceptions at all for a what submission timelines uh, and also i've witnessed that the late later you submit the copywriting services with all due you know respect to the agency they also have limited bandwidth right so if everything comes to them only in the last week the amount of help that they can provide and the quality of services will be compromised and hence just start thinking through and give to them back the temp, you know information um, in a template they have a very simple template start giving them the inputs as early as possible so that you get undivided i mean it will be divided but at least you'll get quality time from them right now more towards the closure they'll be wrapping up other uh, submissions which they've already received so humble request speed up if you haven't even started and uh, just to add to what indrani said my experience please do not try to submit in last one or two days invariably there is a problem in the portal on last one or two days because of the load <laughs> so they were completely agree <laughs> we've been through that all that so many times uh-huh. yeah. completely agree with you and uh, that's a very very yeah, valid so I, uh, thank you david for bringing that up it is very critical that you don't leave it yes april 6 is the last day but ideally you should finish it before the end of march do not leave anything uh, for the last day if you want to make any changes then use that extra one week time but don't uh, plan to push it into the last moment so karthik you are on the call so you are another veteran so you should uh, if any inputs you would like to share from your side karthik no prashant thank you so much you are the veteran you need to actually i need to ask this question how about the change format uh, this time uh, question answer versus the 8000 word no that was changed last year right yeah not not for all category right no every category it has changed oh i don't know but last year i i, I was able to like write a question and answer to some of those this year is like more to do with uh, only 8000 character yeah so which is actually a a challenge because there is a lot of information yeah, that you that, want to convey. that's where you need a copywriter help that they can help us segment it yeah but i would say um, you from a business perspective need to uh, see the copywriter can help with the the english part of it but from a right. priority perspective uh, unless the copywriting team uh, with all credit to them also is aware of the technology then you would be the right person to make the call as to what should be highlighted and then the grammar and other stuff can flow from them but yeah, i guess and, the, and in fact like uh, the five point is the way we can actually by forget the story that's what i am thinking yeah mm. okay it's it's probably good for the judges <laughs> because otherwise <laughs> the amount of content they were reading is like, 
running. <laughs> so it's probably it's probably uh, good for them. <laughs> no, it's like most of thing is covered. Uh, you said is correctly. These are the five thing they are looking for, and mm. being relevant to what Microsoft is moving or the messaging are. And if you have something Correct. to support that messaging, then yes, uh, you have a chance. So Prashant, on a lighter note, with the new change in the leadership team all across the global team, we are right. all supposed to summarize, be experts in press writing. So earlier we had reels and reels of data, which has to be really, you know, covered in half a slide with what is the key theme, what are you trying to say, and like gone are our reels and reels of data. So, so that's how we have all been accustomed to. So, so the next thing they'll tell you is to talk in Morse code. <laughs> Good. No, but it's good. I think I think it, it makes sense to uh, uh, maybe impose a limit there because otherwise, uh, if there's too much of volume, uh, judges also won't be able to spend quality time, which also would be sad. Yeah. So uh, I think all things considered, it, it, it was 5,000 characters last last year. Now it's 8,000 characters. Yeah, yeah. And I can add pressure on that. Some of the stories, even if it is non-repeatable or you cannot repeat to other customers. It doesn't matter. It does have a chance if it is it is a, like a large impact overall. Very, very, very true. Very true, Karthik. Agree with you. Out of like five of the recognition we have, two were just specific to those customers. Right. So, um, Indrani, if you have got the document, maybe if you just want to share it on screen, uh, the the one the email I sent you. Prashant, you sent me something. I did. Um, oh, you, you you didn't get that? Um, no, not really. I didn't get it. Why don't you share your desktop and show it then? I'll stop yeah, sharing. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, so is everyone able to see this now? Yep. Can see. Right. So these are the uh, points. If I just try to bring it to one page. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, so the uh, five points I talked about uh, and um, uh, which have actually summarized into a document, so you you, you can actually uh, mull over it a little more. So uh, if uh, I, I will, um, I've sent it to Indrani, so she should be able to send it across to you. Um, to uh, the reason I sent it to her is because then she can broadcast to a wider partner audience than just the people on the call. Will do once I receive it. Thanks. So, so coming to the, the think ahead uh, uh, part of it, just a moment. Coming to the think ahead part of it, I, I think um, there are two things you need to do. One is uh, not just submitting for this year, but you also need to start planning for next year's submission uh, right now. So look at it as putting the finishing touches on this year's submission, but getting started on next year's submission. If you have a little more long-term uh, uh, view, then uh, the chances are much, much better because then you have much more time to actually go ahead, put resources together, uh, get uh, uh, get work done, showcase uh, benefits. So you have that much more time. In, in my personal experience, that's possibly been uh, a, a huge uh, um, benefit. Sorry. So did did everyone hear that? I I didn't I didn't hear anything back. 
Are we on the call? Yep. I okay. got here. Okay. Right. The challenge, Prashant, is that we only work under pressure. <laughs> <Most of them. laughs> no, I agree, Suresh. It, it is not easy at all. You're right. I, mean, I had actually but decided. Same... I had actually decided I'll start working after Diwali, but you know, it does not happen. <laughs> I can completely empathize with that. Okay, so do we have any other questions, uh, or uh, are we good? Um, just wanted to land outside of um, you know the awards. Those of you who are planning to travel for Inspire, and I hope all of you are. Um, we would love to have you till the 13th full day, so do not plan um, return on the 13th because we're planning to have an out off-site full day India keynote. And this time, our president, which is Anand, our COO, Bertram, <coughs> Amit, and the segment leads all are traveling. So you'll have quality time even with the India leadership and have uh, opportunity for one-to-many, one-to-one uh, meetings. So really urge you do not miss the opportunity and try, uh, you know, the returns on investments are pretty high. So do register and make sure that you uh, plan your return only on the 14th. It's from 9th to the 13th. It's on the portal. Um, but 13th full day will be outside. So 15th, 14th is when you should plan for return. No, but uh, Indrani on the portal is not allowing us to post for uh, edit it to 14. Uh, if it is not allowing you, you could write to that alias, which is the um, age, event agency thing. They can do an offline uh, adjustments for you. You can keep me in okay. the copy. I've already sent a mail after after we received your mail, mm -hmm. but I've not yet got a response. So I'm just just, uh, just mark uh, me a copy or forward me. I will uh, follow up with them. Okay. Okay, so Suresh, do you want to uh, kind of summarize if there are no further questions? And uh, we can always set up a call. I, I think everyone, uh, we are all known to each other. So if there's anything uh, that uh, any one of us, um, Indrani, Karthik, Suresh, me, any one of us can help, do to help you, please feel free to reach out uh, to us and we're more than happy to help. Yeah. I'm speaking, I'm taking the liberty of speaking for Karthik and uh, Suresh as well, but I'm sure they will say yes. Yes, thank you, Prashant. I mean, absolutely. In fact, see, the whole intention here was that uh, you know we wanted more and more partners to you know uh, make the submissions because uh, what happens really? I mean, at least I have seen in my cases that maybe uh, I have not been winning as frequently. But when yes, I because you are not nominating on time, Suresh. You missed <laughs> out last year. Your story last year he was great. Under pressure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's working under pressure, so submitting only on the last day. <laughs> no, we have seen his NGO story last year. It was like amazing. So, no, no, the point which here is that, you know, when when you actually work for a, the award, uh, overall, you are actually preparing your marketing material, you know, you're preparing your videos, testimonials, which will help you in your regular day-to-day -day operations. That's what I have seen has been one of the very, very positive impacts of the, you know, uh, uh, preparing for the award submission because normally we don't really pay too much attention to the marketing side we pay more attention to the sales side but when we do the award submission we actually start thinking okay i need to get testimonials i need to get this material on my website and that overall that impact is much beyond the awards it is throughout the year uh, prashant you may probably uh, uh, add to that you know that's been my experience so it's brilliant observation suresh in fact i had the point uh, i wanted to mention that point but uh, i it's almost slipped but so glad you brought it up uh, very 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 true uh, what suresh just said so apart from obviously the brand equity is is, um, is one of the biggest um, uh, uh, things over there but um, the uh, collateral uh, that it can provide you throughout the year, uh, as well as uh, considering that a lot of us don't have dedicated marketing teams, we either have one or two people, or we also we also to an agency. Um, it, it is a great way for us to kind of put the discipline across in a couple of months a year in terms of collating, gathering, getting testimonials, videos, uh, structured marketing um, uh, information. So it is a great way to uh, do that. So. Maybe it's like a like a yearly fitness uh, uh, marketing fitness exercise. If you want to look at it that way, kind of gets gets you in shape. And that content, if you can reuse it and uh, repurpose it in various uh, shapes and forms throughout the year, 
then even if you haven't uh, won an award um that that is just there is just one aspect of it but the if you leverage the content that you have prepared throughout the year then i think uh, you truly have won even if you haven't been uh, recognized at wbc but from a business perspective you would have definitely won so i so do not uh, uh, just look at the winning part of it obviously it's important that's what we are all here for but at the same time also look at how you can repurpose this material in all your communications in all your interaction throughout the year so brilliant points suresh thank you for bringing that up right so uh, uh, i think then we'll uh, close the session for today uh, thanks a lot prashant i mean you are really the bahubali of wbc awards if i may use that word and <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks a lot indrani for your inputs and uh, yes please all the people on the call the minimum 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 we need to do is at least make the submission right you know uh, it will help it will definitely help you in many many ways so uh, with this we will uh, close the session thanks again to all the people who have attended the uh, event and once again thanks prashant thanks indrani thank you very much you're welcome to thank you Thank you Indrani thank you Thank you thank you everybody bye bye Thank you everyone for your time thanks bye